So how do you actually revoke a token in an OAuth2 application? So suppose you have like a client, this client somehow got an access token from an authorization server, it might have also received a refresh token, depends. And uh, this client is then using this token at the protected resource. Yeah, so as an example, this application here diagrams.net uh, is actually storing like the file that you currently see in my Google Drive. So this is basically the third party application and uh, it's accessing like the Google Drive. And the question now is, how do I invalidate this access token or maybe even the re refresh token I got? And the way you can do that is you can send this token to a dedicated endpoint, which this uh, RFC specifies. So this is called the token revocation endpoint. So this can be like an arbitrary URL uh, that is uh, yeah, specified in the authorization service metadata. So it's not always post slash revoke. It could be anything, but of course it should be like speaking. And uh, what you do is you send like the token itself to the uh, endpoint and you might also send a token type hint which might make it easier for the authorization server to kind of look up the token but still this token uh, this parameter here is optional so token type hint is optional so if it's missing or if it's wrong then the authorization server still must be able to revoke this token yeah and as a general hint uh, of course you also want to have some sort of uh, like authorization between the client and the this token revocation endpoint because otherwise someone can just randomly spam your uh, your endpoint with token revocation requests now in this example here because this is probably like a public client this this draw io uh, i'm not quite sure whether i mean i think they don't even support token revocation here but like if they were to support token revocation you would probably not have like some form of you would not have client credentials here, right? Because this application cannot protect the credentials. But if it were like a confidential client, then of course uh, the, the clear guidance is to have the uh, some sort of client credentials to make sure that not everybody can call this token revocation endpoint. Oops, there's a typo. Okay, cool. And I just wanted to mention a few other things. So in case you send an access token, most probably the access token is only revoked, although that can depend on the authorization server. If you send a re refresh token, uh, then it could be that the authorization server also revokes uh, the all access tokens that were issued with this ref uh, refresh token. But again, in both cases, it's actually up to the configuration of the authorization server. This specification recommends that if you send like a refresh token then the access token should also be revoked cool yeah so here's the rfc you can check it out um, it's relatively short and uh, yeah if you have any questions just let me know uh, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye